Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. My name is Ashley Stewart and right now I'm in the middle of, well I guess not even really the middle, the start of becoming a pharmacy technician in Saskatchewan. Part of this is that I have to do a program through a institution with a recognized credentials basically so that I can write board exams and law exams and all that kind of lovely stuff. So it is currently Tuesday, September 3rd. Yeah, Tuesday, September 3rd. I am in my, I wouldn't even consider this first full week, but it's kind of the first full week of classes. So minus Labor Day, it's a full week. <laughs> Yesterday was a holiday. So today so far had communications and anatomy and physiology. The communications class was actually a lot of fun. It was super interactive. However, the anatomy and physiology class, I got a little bit overwhelmed in my brain. So the reason why this was so much is so I've taken physiology, a few different physiology classes before. However, I haven't taken anatomy before. And I'm not really done much with the anatomical directions because of that. I think we did the basics in one of my biology classes. It wasn't even a required class. I kind of did it as an elective. I don't think we covered it in the kind of the base bio class, but in the other one, we did cover anatomical directions. It, it was the basic. It was like anterior, posterior, like those kind of things. It was like those basic four. I don't remember covering this in, in physiology at all because it was more the physiology and not so much the anatomy. So they kind of just gave you the anatomy that you needed to know in order to understand it and that was it. And I don't remember these anatomical directions being a huge deal. That being said, it might have been and I just don't remember. Because of that, this morning was a little overwhelming. This afternoon I have a med terminology class and microbiology, which I've done both of them already. We had them on Friday. So far I'm enjoying this, but I'll catch up with you guys after I'm done classes. I don't film. I'm not allowed to film or record anything during lectures, so I will join you again a little later when I'm going through what I need to do for today, which is going to be figuring out how to make cards for anatomy and physiology and then probably doing the card that I end up doing for med terminology today just because this class is so, sh so short. Hey everyone, so I'm still getting used to this whole vlogging thing, surprisingly. So I haven't vlogged all day. And I just kind of wanted to get my Anki cards done. Ugh, my head hurts so much, honestly. Like, I feel like I'm in information overload. I need to go have a shower, so I'm gonna go do that. Somehow I need to figure out how to incorporate exercise into this whole thing, and I just haven't quite figured out how I want to do that yet. I haven't quite gotten back into that yet, but I need to because it's important. So after I finish lecture, what did I do today? I did my Anki cards that were due. I'm actually doing not bad with the med terminology stuff. It's, I think the Anki is starting to work actually. So just need to keep up with it and do it for like everything that I have it set. I also made some Anki cards for anatomy and physiology today. Didn't take too long actually. It's just that I included a lot of pictures and like clips and everything to try and like hammer home. But like when I was doing the studying, not much of them really came up. So I won't probably know until the cards get sent in like done tomorrow as to how that's going. But I think the first quiz is like, I think it might be next week. Let's see here. Oh no, it's the week after. So our first unit test for the anatomy and physiology is actually like the week after the midterm, the midterm final. So got a little bit yet before we get into that. So that's 
Good. So the earlier the, I start on that, the better it'll be for Anki purposes anyways. It's basically just classes this week. There's not really anything due besides my first year forms, which I've already done and had it in. Hopefully they're all done properly and okay and all of that. I don't know if they look at them beforehand or not, but hoping that if any there's any problems with it that I get sent them back right away if that's the case. So you guys might notice I'm looking behind me here. So this is the schedule for the week and it's just to make sure that I'm in the proper class. Now I have this actually in my Outlook so it hasn't been too bad to follow along. So tomorrow I've got the intro math class that's going to kind of introduce us to important concepts we need for the intro to pharmacy calculations class. Med terminology another hour. But actually, looks like I get a little bit of time tomorrow in between midterm and for lunch. So that's going to be good. Hopefully I can get the any exercises done in that time during that one hour. And then in the afternoon, anatomy physiology, which was a lot, took a lot out of my brain today. And then 179 pharmacy is intro to pharmacology for the pharmacy technician. So we'll I'm curious to know what, I think that was the class where I was kind of looking ahead and was like, oh, here we go. This is really interesting. So that's kind of what's on the horizon for the tomorrow. So I've got like these sticky notes here where I've got like um, things I want to do at the end of the day. I think I might start using like weekly planner to do that because it's got like a checklist either that or use my phone i just feel like i'm going through so many sticky notes and i kind of want to keep those for like when i just want to remember to do something basically so yeah i unfortunately didn't vlog very much because like i said i just wanted to get things done and i feel like time lapses will get boring after a while but let me know if you guys want more time lapses i can do that too whenever i'm like making anki cards or whatever there's not really any decks I can use for like my particular stuff just because this is so unique to my particular program. Hey guys, so it is... What day is it? Wednesday? September 4th? I didn't vlog anything today just because again I had stuff I wanted to do. I feel like I probably will vlog when I'm doing my Anki cards at some point, but tonight was not that night. Today, classes were pretty good. The one thing I will say is that the math class, the kind of the take-home questions, they took a really long time to do tonight, so I didn't really have a lot of time to do anything else because I spent my whole time, like, doing those questions. I did pretty well on them, though, so I mean, the time was worth it. I did fairly well in them and I actually did really, really well in the problem questions, which I feel like is more important. The one thing I need to work on is adding up of fractions that are like multiples of three, like three fractions that are like a mix of them. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but there was a few that I missed in that section. But otherwise, I think I did probably 90s, which... I think is good. I didn't look at the notes to do them at all. Like I just did them as problems. So that is actually probably a good indication of where I'm at too. But like I said, I'm actually just happy that I did really, really well with the problem questions because that's where the application of everything kind of comes into play basically. And I would actually rather do like problem questions that are kind of a little bit more focused on like what we kind of have to know rather than just doing outright just problems that are just random but that's me med terminology is just a lot of like med like medical terms and it's a lot of memorization and i just feel like i'm not keeping up with it honestly Anki will only like let me do a certain amount of new cards a day and i just feel like it's not enough i may have to increase it anatomy physiology i'm done those classes for the week so I'm going to, when I have time on the weekend, in between studying for midterm, uh, midterm, I'm going to go through the notes for that. I don't have a lot of notes from today that I actually have to do because 
there was a lot of it that was review for me because it was like the chemistry of life and all of that and like the molecules and then like what the organelles are and stuff so i wasn't concerned about that we got into a really cool class today so it was like pharmacology so we started getting into like drugs and that kind of things and i feel like my work kind of prepared me for that course so i don't really have a lot to catch up on with that but i will go through it when i have more than just one set of notes to go through i have it tomorrow and then i think that one's yeah that one's done for the week after tomorrow so i don't really think i have much else to add it was just it's just so much class time like I get done with classes at the end of the day and I'm just like I am like my brain's often just completely done but I knew that was gonna be a thing but I am spending probably three and a half hours right now on work after class and barely keeping up so like there are things that i'm having to prioritize for different days when i have time that's i think the update for today like i said i didn't vlog very much i just i spent like seven hours six or seven hours today in lecture alone and then another three half of that was doing these math problems and then doing the I did the exercises this morning for med terminology because I had an extra hour. I'm going to take it easy though for the rest of the night. Hey everyone, so happy Thursday. I am like losing track of time because of doing the same thing in and out and like not being able to really tell the difference when some things end and begin. So I just finished class, it is almost four o'clock and I've been in class since eight o'clock with only basically a lunch break. It's been a long day. I will say these days feel really, really long because like, although my classes are over now, now it's on to me to do the rest of it. Some of the classes are definitely a lot heavier, it seems like. Although I will say, now that I'm starting to get into some of the actual pharmacy classes, I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more because I'm like recognizing things from work and like, oh yeah, that's this. Oh, that's what that means now. It's really cool to actually learn the reasons why things are like, for example, today we learn why things have certain things on the label or what they mean which is really helpful and then when i'm actually gonna be in the pharmacy it will help me go oh wait this is what this means now rather than me just going oh yeah that's writing on a label it doesn't really mean much but now i'm actually going to be able to understand what all of this means the other thing that was really fascinating today was we learned about more about canada's healthcare system like how canada's healthcare system works so Maybe if I get to that today, I probably won't get to that today. I need to focus on med terminology because I have a midterm coming up. So I'm probably going to give almost all of my focus to that. There is a couple of things I need to do first though. So I am going to do those first. Or I'm going to forget about it. I do have it written down here though. I think biggest thing today is doing the med terminology stuff because that's just the most important thing right at this point in time a lot of the rest of it can wait until i have a full day to catch up on things which i'm probably gonna do on saturday honestly and then sunday probably spend some extra time going over stuff for midterm if i feel like studying at all i've gotta send an email here and then what else do I gotta do? Then do the exercises today from the med term. And honestly, like doing these exercises, I get to practice more with the suffixes anyway. So I think it's only gonna help. I'm gonna do that now. Catch you later. Hey everyone, happy Friday. So I thought I would just come on here quickly and number one, end this week's vlog. I feel really actually accomplished because I'm starting to get somewhere with the med terminology stuff. I feel like I've gotten a lot of them down and the stuff that I'm still struggling with is slowly coming. I also feel like I got something done because there was an assignment or I guess an exercise that was like 20 pages I've been working on this thing for like, I couldn't even tell you how many hours and I finally got it done. And then there was another quick 
like one that was only like two pages. It felt so short and I just felt so accomplished. I also finished the one math assignment that I was working on. I've got one more plus one section to do with that. So that's what I'm actually going to do right now. I'm not going to study midterm for a little bit. I got to do my Anki cards, but I usually do that kind of before I end the night, basically. At least that's the routine right now. I feel like I should be going through my microbiology and seeing if I need to actually study anything with that because I've got a quiz on it for learning outcome one on Tuesday that I kind of forgot about because of this midterm for midterminology. Now, the reason why I've been putting so much work into midterminology is because that midterm is worth 50% of my final mark in that. Although this class is only one credit. So like in the overall scheme of things, if you were to weight the average, it wouldn't be as much. But I still want to do really well in it. Like I don't want to just throw it off and not take it seriously because it'll help me learn like other things. I've already noticed like some of the things that I've been struggling with in physiology. If I can just remember the medical term for it, it'll basically say what it is. So that's great. Example is like caudal, which is like towards the tailbone. And that means like tail or towards the bottom. Like if I can remember things like that, it'll only help. I gotta see kind of what's a priority based upon like when I have things again. And then this time, because this next week I have exams and stuff, like I've got them highlighted and all of that too. Things are going okay. It's hard to know like how I'm feeling about the med terminology because it could be made really easy or it could be like pretty hard. There's a lot of suffixes actually that are very similar that mean totally different things. I do want to mention though, before I end this vlog, that the end of this week has been great. Now that I'm starting to get into some of the pharmacy classes, it's feeling a little bit better. I was a little sad at the start of the week. It was just so much. Anatomy and physiology is just so much. Like, I think we went through, in a couple of hours, we went through, like, 70 slides. Like, it was just ridiculous. Most of the stuff from, I think it was Wednesday, was review. So that was a little less overwhelming. My head hurt so bad after Tuesday. <laughs> with so much information and like it's just impossible to basically learn it all. I'm gonna get to doing these exercises for math. I think that's what I'm gonna finish with tonight and then well I gotta do my Anki cards too and I feel like I should be doing a time lapse but it's hard because of the way I'm set up here. The reason why today was really interesting was because we got into billing stuff which I haven't done a lot of because I didn't have the right credentials to be like putting through prescriptions, working as an assistant. So I didn't really see that part of it. I've seen some of the screens before because I've watched the pharmacists fill prescriptions. We often had the pharmacists doing a lot of the filling of prescriptions where I work just because that way the technicians can actually do the final check because the pharmacist has already done the clinical check, which is a requirement. I'll get into that when we touch upon it. I'm sure we'll touch upon that at some point, probably soon. Essentially, we have a lot of the pharmacists doing the filling. So like I've kind of watched them and I've seen and recognized the boxes that popped up in one of the classes today but they didn't really mean a lot to me and to now to finally have that oh that's what those codes are saying or that's what that part of the description means same with like prescription receipts and all of that too i guess i could go over an example i'd have to go and grab one and i'd have to blur out the basically the sensitive information maybe i could do that on one of my own prescriptions if I could find one. I think I can find one for my Amovig actually. Maybe I'll do that and I'll just go through it, explain it, like what everything means because it's really fascinating actually. That's I think it for the vlog for this week. This week was fairly straightforward. Next week things really start picking up with like evaluation and all of that and it like there I think I've got something every week. <laughs> 
after this week, so it's not going to be just straightforward lectures anymore. Going to be paying attention to what needs to be done and what's important. So if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to see more from me, please do subscribe and hit the like button as that lets me know that you're enjoying the content and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content. If you have guys have any questions or there's something that you want to see, please drop down in the comments down below and leave a question or ask a question or whatever and I'll try my best to show whatever you're asking. I'm not really, I gotta be honest with you guys, besides posting my videos, I am not really on social media, just I don't have time. Like I am spending, I start classes at 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm going until sometimes 8 or 8.30 at night with breaks for lunch, an hour, breaks to eat at sup, make and eat supper in the evenings. I'm actually just finishing up my supper break now. So there's not a lot of time. I'm not on social media other than just sharing my video content. And it's probably going to be a lot of similar things with like what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that I can try and mix it up between, you know, either going over something that I'm covering. When I go over notes for this week, which I'm hoping to do at some point tomorrow as a break from everything, from the midterm. I am probably going to do the next exercises for the midterm that we covered today. There's three of them that we went, we went over and I haven't looked to see how long the actual assignments are. Wish me luck with that. Those take forever, those things. But it, it's good practice for like practicing everything up to this point, which is only helpful for the midterm. Thanks for joining me this week and I hope to see you next week. Bye everyone. Thank you.